Welcome back Wayfarers. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel Wayfarers Refuge. If you want a snack, go get one now. Let's get right into this. A lot of us Muslim women are constantly in a daily battle, struggling to wear the hijab. Now, I would not say that the sister who does not wear the hijab does not value the importance of the hijab, does not wish to earn the pleasure of Allah Ta'ala, does not value the importance of that which Allah Ta'ala has made fard upon us. Any such person who insults a sister who does not wear the hijab is not making it easier for her when she is struggling with her nafs to actually wear the hijab. Rather, I believe that there are certain reasons as to why a sister may choose not to wear the hijab or she may struggle with the idea of wearing a headscarf on her head. One of those reasons is that she may feel restricted. Now, she may feel that by wearing the headscarf, she may not be able to fully integrate within society. She may not be able to be the confident woman that she wishes to be. She may not be able to fully mix in within her different social circles. What we need to understand is that we are restricting our closeness, our proximity with Allah Ta'ala. We are not allowing our relationship to strengthen with our Creator. Allah Ta'ala has gifted us women with a door. Now, he has not gifted this door to any of his other creation other than us women. This door is the hijab. Only we can unlock this door. If we choose not to unlock this door, we are very unfortunate in the sense that we are not allowing Allah to enter into our lives through this very door that he chooses to enter into our lives from. And how do we know that by allowing Allah to enter into our lives through this very specific door, we might get certain people who will admire us for our level of faith, for our Islamic principles, for wanting to stick to our identity, and that is of a Muslim woman. The second reason as to why certain sisters may choose not to wear the hijab is because they may feel they are losing some of their beauty, not understanding that the eye of Allah Ta'ala is different from the eye of people. People will judge us and accept us based on our appearance. Allah Ta'ala says that he does not look towards our appearance, rather he looks to that which is within our hearts. Allah Ta'ala looks to our deeds. Though many of us sisters may not see any physical beauty within the hijab, there is nothing to say that Allah Ta'ala does not see beauty in the woman that is wrapped in her hijab. There may be times where wearing the hijab is much more difficult than usual. For example, when we're attending a party, a wedding, we may feel slightly insecure that we don't look as good as those sisters who aren't wearing the hijab, who are receiving compliment after compliment. What we need to keep in mind at that very moment is that though people may not see that beauty within you, Allah Ta'ala sees the beauty within you wearing the hijab within you being wrapped up. Allah Ta'ala rewards you for you overcoming the battle of your nafs in times of severe difficulty. One of the reasons as to why it may be extremely difficult for sisters to wear the hijab is because they fear that they may not be able to find the one. They may not be able to find their life partner, their soulmate, their companion. Not realizing that hijab actually has a great part to play in them finding their spouse. When it comes to choosing our spouse, our hijab will act as a fortress, only allowing in that man who will value our principles, our level of faith, that man who will fear overstepping the boundaries set by Allah Ta'ala and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now another reason as to why we may choose not to wear the hijab 
is because we may fear that we won't get the job that we want. What we need to understand in this situation is that Allah Ta'ala has already decided how much risk we are going to get, where our risk is going to come from. Allah Ta'ala says that He provides for us from sources we don't even expect. Eventually, there will come a time where we will take great pride in the fact that we were not defeated by the battle of our nafs just for a job. We did not give in to the whisperings of shaitan. Rather, we tasted the sweetness of having tawakkul in Allah by being offered a job far greater than the job that we initially wanted. We will come to understand that what Allah Ta'ala had in store for us was far greater than what we wanted for ourselves. Another reason as to why sisters may be struggling to wear the hijab is because they may be discouraged by certain family members or friends to actually wear it. Now what we need to understand is that in this battle we are going to disappoint somebody. Let us not disappoint Allah Ta'ala for that which Allah Ta'ala has made fard upon us is far greater than the expectations of our family members, the expectations of our friends. Yes, it may take a bit of time, they might not talk to us, they might show us that they aren't happy with us, but time is the best healer. Give it time. And how do we know that by us setting the trend of wearing the hijab within our friend circle or within our family, there might be certain friends or relatives that may actually choose to take inspiration from us by wearing the hijab. A lot of sisters may be put off from wearing the hijab because of seeing sisters around them who already wear the hijab yet may do certain things that are questionable. But that is not an excuse for they will be judged according to their actions, we will be judged according to our actions. They are on their own journey to Allah, we are on our separate journey to Allah. It is not wise to prevent our relationship with Allah Ta'ala to grow based on other people's actions. Our focus should not be people. Our focus is the attainment of Allah's pleasure. Yes, wearing the hijab is extremely difficult. It is a big battle with your nafs. But oh believing women, what you need to understand is that this is the avenue through which Allah Ta'ala wishes to enter into your life. This is the avenue through which Allah Ta'ala wishes to build for you one of the biggest houses in Jannah. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when Allah Ta'ala wishes good for someone, He afflicts them with trials and hardships. When Allah Ta'ala is our guide, and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is our source of inspiration, there is no battle that we cannot overcome. Don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment below, smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, share with your nearest and your dearest. Until next time.